Okay, we are live. Oh, hey, Lisa. I'm so glad you're here. Yay. We're getting set up over there. Ninja Man's helping me. How about that? He's going to help me with the comments. So, Lisa, I hope you're doing good today. And anybody else out there that's watching, please comment. Just let me know you're here um, so we can get started. We're making something super special today. And I've been looking at this for like a week and a half, I think, maybe. I don't know. And I've been wanting to make it so bad. It's so hard to not just come in here and create it. So I'm going to go over here and show you what we're going to be using. All right. We've got our chalk paint and I'm just using the Hobby Lobby kind. It's kind of pricey, y'all, but you can get a smaller one. This one's $8.99. I was not happy about paying $8.99, but I needed chalk paint. And I used the 40% um, off while we could still use 40% off. I think that goes through the end of February. Don't hold me to that. Could have ended in January. So we're using this color, and it is called French Linen. And I'll be happy to show that again later if you need it. We're using Mod Podge. It looks like it's been around since the 70s, y'all. Look at that font, that text. I think it's been around that long. We're going to be using either this twine, this ropey twine or this. I'm not sure yet. And, okay. Um, we will probably be using some of this um, Stampin' Up! ink refill. This is an older one. It's called Baked Brown Sugar. And basically, it's just a brown. Okay, you don't have to have that color. We've got a wooden cross from the Dollar Tree. Now, everything from here on will be from the Dollar Tree, except for a couple of little things. So this is a Dollar Tree wooden cross. It is, let's see how tall it is. It is about nine and a half by, by six, okay? So it's six this way, nine and a half that way. And it came just like this. Let's go ahead and peel this off because sometimes I forget to do that, y'all. Okay, um, this nautical rope. And y'all haven't made this before. Hey, Hopper, how are you doing? Um, Lisa, yeah, they're quitting the 40% off. They said they're going to start um, lowering prices on some items. I don't know. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to end um, if it's going to end in at the end of February or if it did end at the end of January. I'm just not sure. But uh, yeah, so I haven't made this before, y'all. So y'all going to see it as it comes together. Got a paper plate. I've got um, these beads that we spray painted. I wonder if I can show you those pictures. Hold on. Please hold just a sec. Let me see if they uploaded. Yes, they did. This is what we used. Um, it. This was just plain old brown kind of beads. You know, the, the earth tone color beads, whatever, natural color. And then we spray painted them. With this, Ninja Man did this for me. This is Rust-Oleum. It's good for wood, metal, plastic, and more. Okay, it's called Satin Ivory Silk. Well, it's satin is the finish, and ivory silk is the color. I know, Lisa. I was disappointed, too. So we spray painted the beads. I've got them on a wire, and I may finish the project with it on a wire, or I may restring them while we're here. It depends on time. And then this was a silverish kind of platter you can kind of see right there. It was just it was just silver from the Dollar Tree. It's metal. And he painted that for me. Okay, so that's what's going to be holding all our things. This, y'all, is so cool. I found this at some sort of a yard sale or estate sale years and years ago. And it is a Methodist hymnal. And as you see, it's seen better days. And I love it because I use the um, pages for crafting. And I, I don't do it just on anything. It's got to be something pretty special, y'all. This was property of Claremont MP Sunday School. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Claremont something. And it's got all the different hymns in here. I've used a bunch of them. I made a, I made a big old wreath for them but it fell and broke the paper because the paper is very thin 
So I'm going to be using this page here, the side of his face, and don't be nervous, y'all. The first time I cut this, it was um, it was kind of scary because I didn't want. I just I was like, oh dear, oh d -d -d dear, but it worked out okay. So we may have to come in for another piece because as I was planning this project, this paper is shorter than the cross, but I'm hoping I can use some of this okay. Now, if y'all have any questions, be sure and jump out there with them because Ninja Man is keeping an eye on everything for me over there. So we're going to just cut this part off. And I'm going to come in with a sander. I cut off this sander that I found. It's like a sponge on the inside. Who knew? Well, y'all probably knew, but I didn't know. Anyway, it's like a sponge. It was real easy to cut. I just got a little piece. For a couple of reasons, I don't want my skin touching the um, the sandy part, the the uh, sandpaper. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, sandpaper. But um, yeah, so it's easier for me to hold this way. So I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit, get rid of those rough edges, like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, this is better, isn't it? So who all's here? Send me a note if you're here. Send me a note. So Tris, where is your bride today? She, let's see, Thursday, she's teaching probably, isn't she? I bet she's a teaching away. All right, so we're just going to sand off. When you buy these uh, wood blanks from Dollar Tree, um, they're kind of... Yeah, they're a little rough cut because a dollar. So y'all know what something I've wondered. Does anybody ever take anything back to Dollar Tree and say, I need a refund? <laughs> because it's a dollar. I mean, really? It's going to cost you that in gas to get it, right? I'm a telling you. Oh, y'all. I made this wreath. I wonder if I can show you that picture. Please hold. Let me look in here real quick to get that picture. The roses are all Dollar Tree. The grass at the top is Dollar Tree. The um, little chalkboard is Dollar Tree. The little chalkboard he's holding. But now the bunny, um, I just drew him on cardboard. Don't be impressed. I drew him on cardboard and I uh, sanded down the edges a little bit and then Mod Podge the paper to him. And then that little piece of tool there, that's also Dollar Tree. So anyway, I might be auctioning that off. I'm deciding. I've got it hanging in my studio in here. Lisa, I don't know why, but I hate sanding. I know, right? Right? I do too. I wish it would just come finished. So, I think that's pretty good right now. Let's dust this off. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan either, my friend. Okay, going to shake up my paint a little bit. We don't need a lot. Okay. And now, the, um, the wreath that I made, I did not come up with that. I am in a group who... Um, oh, dear. Okay, I'm in a group and the person doing the group she she came up with that after seeing one in um tuesday morning which y'all know doesn't exist anymore well at least it does but they don't have many stores anymore thanks to covid i'm just gonna paint this cross it's not gonna take long but yeah she um she came up with that little that little carrot looking thing and she used tulips from Michael's, I mean, Walmart. And I didn't, I don't go to Walmart. And I, I didn't, I was thinking about it, y'all. I thought about it for days. And I'm like, if I have to think about going somewhere for days, I don't need to go, right? Right. And it's just Walmart, y'all. I even was thinking, what if I asked Ninja Man to take me late at night? And then I thought, no, because the crazies will be there. I thought, what if I go during the day, early in the morning? Nope, crazies. And then I thought, okay, what if I just kind of go to, in the middle of the day 
and just kind of like blending with the crowd of crazies. Mm -mm, not doing it. So I didn't. Because also I found orange roses right there at Dollar Tree to make that carrot with. And it's rather pretty. But tulips are all hopper. <laughs> He's listening to me as I work. That's so sweet. Um, yeah, tulips are my favorite. Pennies are my favorite, favorite flower. But tulips are my favorite flower too, if that makes sense. It's just hard to get pennies and they're very expensive, so I've never asked for them. And I really don't like to receive flowers because they die. And I just don't want one more thing to take care of. That's why all my friends on in, on the internet that have cats, they're my cats too. Because I don't need one more thing to take care, care of. Tris said, takes quite a bit of work to get me to go. Oh, yes. I would, I would so much rather Amazon.com it. And, you know, that of course is terrible. But, I mean, it's terrible because it's putting people out of business. But, um... I don't know. I just can't. I can't do Walmart. The la Okay, y'all. I got a story. Ugh, this is crazy. Y'all know I've been married like 40, almost 45 years, right? So I got married when I was a teenager. And um, I was in Walmart here, right here, after I'd moved back here, 2017. And <laughs> this person that I knew when I was like 15, all right? I kid you not, he's 6'11", okay? I mean, like, he got tall and kept growing. His little brother is 6'9". And anyway, let's just say that it was very awkward. But when I saw him, I was like, Oh my gosh, you know, and first of all, he, he attracted a lot of attention when he walked in because people were like, I mean, he's, he's so tall. He's not heavy. He's not big. He's just, he just keeps on going. Um, tall and lanky. But anyway, of course, you know me, I'm like, oh, hey, you know, hey, hey. <laughs> Boy, did I learn my lesson. Don't go, hey, hey, to somebody you knew 50 years ago right? <laughs> and here he comes. And I'm like, oh dear, what, what do I do with this now? <laughs> well, lo and behold, he didn't stick around long, thank goodness. Not sure he really recognized me because I very much don't rep, uh, I very much don't look like I used to look. But he can't hide it because, you know, how many, how many people that tall do you see? But anyway, because I grew up around here. So there we go. Um, so I'm like, hey, hey. And um, and he's like, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing good, but I so wish I hadn't gone, hey, hey. Because <laughs> now I'm stuck. And the people around me, they, you know, he caused all this attention because he's so tall. And I mean, you just kind of stand there looking. And this lady I was in line at the pharmacy and this, and he goes, he says, I'm just trying to find some boots. And I'm like, you're in the pharmacy, man. <laughs> Tris has a friend that's 6'10". There you go. There you go. You know what I'm talking about. And, um, yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm like, what have I done? So this lady's like, do you know him? And I'm like, oh, no, huh? No. <laughs> I said, I mean, I knew him like 50 years ago, but I, I've just, you know, saw him for the first time just now. And her eyes are huge. <laughs> and I'm like, mental note, I grew up around here. Don't be going, hey, hey, unless I want to be engaged in a conversation, right? Let's don't do that. Y'all, it's hard to be when you're an extrovert. It's hard. You're all the time second-guessing and apologizing. That's all I got to say. Oh, there's Debbie. Marilyn Debbie. Okay, Marilyn, we are making... And I'm calling you Marilyn here because that's how people will know you because that's what's on here. Um, but I also call her Debbie. 
making this from Dollar Tree. This is from Dollar Tree right here. All the stuff I'm using except for the paint right now is Dollar Tree. And um, we got to let this dry for just a minute. So let me see if I want to work with those beads. Oh, you know what? We're going to need a tassel. Let's go ahead and make the tassel. <laughs> Y'all hear me say, let's just make a tassel like I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to make it long, too long to begin with. Um, which maybe I'm not, but I think that's what I'm doing because, um, if it's, you know, if it's too long, I can, uh, oh, Julie, but see, it gave you a story to tell. Oh, did it ever, Julie? One day I'll tell you the whole story. Okay. Okay. Can't do that right now. All right. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to attempt a tassel. Julie, she has plenty of... Yes, I got so many stories. Hopper knows. His wife, Christina, knows. They know my stories. I've always got a story, y'all. Somebody can be saying, you know, I, I found a dog the other day, and I've got a story. I've already got a story about the dog I found. I, I don't know what you call that. Do you see a question? I got help. Ninja Man's over there helping me. I wonder, does Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby ship to customers? Oh, Dollar Tree does. Um, for a long time, they would only ship quantities. Like, you had to buy 25 of this or something like that. Um, but I don't know now. You can look in there and see DollarTree.com. <laughs> Hopper's face. <laughs> um... Yeah, you can go to DollarTree.com and .com it and see what they what they say. What do they say? What I need is is a, a brush. Ooh, I got one. Please hold. I got one right here. Y'all gonna laugh. I keep a brush at my craft, craft desk. I really do. So I'm gonna brush it, y'all. This isn't like a hairbrush. This is just a, a, oops, I need a brush. Sometimes it's for the bangs. Who knows? I don't know. I just keep it in here. Oh, this is working out. Look at this, y'all. And this could be a Dollar Tree brush for all we know. It's getting very fuzzy. Stand up at the improv with Kathy. <laughs> yes. Hopper says, hey, Ninja, that's Tris, Christina's husband. Ninja man. I know. I saw it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a man of few words. I don't know why. It's not like he can get an edge, a, an edge in word-wise, right? So, y'all, this morning when I got up, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going live at 1. And I'm just kind of taking my time when I realized I'm also on deadline. Yeah. Um, now you can make afraid not. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, making me afraid not. Um, but, yeah, I, I realized I'm on deadline today, y'all. But... Y'all, I'm not kidding y'all. I write a column. I mean, y'all know that. I write a column in a local paper here. Um, and I don't know if I'll start writing more or not. But anyway, so I write this column. And I'm sitting there. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing to even begin. And I'm like, Lord, please give me, give me words that you would have me to write. It's a secular paper, but I can write all the faith... Um, Julie says he, <laughs> yeah. oh, he's laughing. He might need some new stickers for his gun. You know, those are still on there, Julie. I love it. I love it. He's left them on there. Um, I think he really enjoyed y'all putting those on there. But yeah, so I was praying about it, y'all. And I'm not kidding. I mean, it just, I, I got out some scripture references and read some commentaries. And then I was on fire. And it is, I mean, I think it turned out really good, but you know, that's God's work. That is God's work, y'all. And you know, when we ask, um, when we ask God to let us do his will, and then he gives us his will, and he uses us, isn't that just, don't you just kind of sit there and go, wow, I didn't, I didn't think I was, you know, good enough for that. Um, what am I needing? Oh, my hot glue. Please hold. Please hold. Now, I can't use much because, 
Y'all, I got all my Dollar Tree stuff over here. And it's kind of organized. Like, if anybody else came in here, they'd be, what is that hot mess? But I know what it is. And, um, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Tris says, I can write a couple of columns. <laughs> and he shows Grecian columns. <laughs> Roman columns. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, don't forget, I'm going to auction this piece off at the end. And if nobody's interested, that's fine. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'll be all right. But um, it will show up again at a later time. Now, I'm just going to let my heat gun heat up while this is still drying a bit. I think I'm going to, yeah, let me see if I can just wave it around. Waving it around, waving it around. Marilyn, he is. He always gives us what we need, doesn't he? And here I was on uh, on deadline, and boom, there it is. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. Um, whoo, guess what? That's getting hot. Yeah, so I think I can go ahead and start cutting my paper while I'm waiting on that to heat up. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Boop. So this is still a little wet, but we're going to Mod Podge it anyway. All of the time, Hopper. You're right. You're right. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the Mod Podge in my plate. Uh-oh. Yes, that was too much. And guess what? I'm going to use the same brush right here. The brush doesn't mind, and I don't either. So I'm just going to put this on the side that was dry. This is the lighter painted side. The other side's painted a little heavier because it's going to be the back. All right, all right, all right. And we'll just see where this takes us, y'all. Because like I said, I haven't made this before, and I've been waiting to make it. been waiting on Thursday at 1 o'clock. And the idea for my Kathy Bowes crafting show is this. I'm going to be crafting here. I've got a I've got a bin over here full of full of items. Chaos says hi. Oh, sweet chaos. And um chaos is her Rottweiler and Goofy is her parrot. Or yeah, I think it's a parrot. Um but yeah, I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, crafting out of that bin for a while. I've got a whole lot of things planned. Now, I'm just laying this down, and because it's still a little, a little movable, I'm a moving it. This is better than Bob Ross. <laughs> we'll put a pretty little tree right over there. All right. Now, I'm going to get everything goopy because, you know, um, we're going to cut real close to the, to the wood here. And I'm sad, y'all. I'm sad to cut, but hey, it's okay. It, it just, it just freaks me out a little bit because it's a church hymnal. But you know what? It's going to be so pretty. We're finished. It's going to be so pretty. And when we get ready to auction this off, if you are in the U.S., I can ship to you, and so far everybody I see on here is, um, and it's $5 for shipping, and so whatever whatever it goes for, we, we add $5, okay? All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I've been waiting so long to make this. I'm so excited. This is a little tedious right here, trying to figure out how to cut that. Please hold. I'm going to go around the edge. I'm using Stampin' Up! scissors, but y'all can use just about anything, as long as it'll cut paper. Okay? I'm using Stampin' Up! paper snips, I should say. They're really good. Okay. Uh-oh, get out of the paint. I did not say we were ready for you to do that. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this... Let's get this laying flat. We got a little crazy over here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Come on now. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. It's an old rugged cross, y'all. That's the idea. It's an old rugged cross. Okay. So, we've got part of it on here. Now, I'm just going to put... just going to put a little bit more right down here. Okay. 
And Ninja Man, you're watching the comments, right? Actually, I'm sleeping. He says he's sleeping over there, y'all. So everybody that's on here, just let us know you're here, please. And keep Ninja Man busy. Well, you, you're reading the, the before they show up on my thing anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm I'm like 10 seconds ahead of you. But, and, and if I see them, I can, I can read them. But sometimes, like right now, I'm not looking. He's, he's testing out if he wants to be a helper, y'all. <laughs> he's just seeing. He's just testing it all out. Okay, it's about to get fun here, y'all, because as soon as I get that piece done, okay, we are good with all of that. Okay, now. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I've still got my... My paint and my Mod Podge right here. So I'm just going to Mod Podge here. Put a good bit on here. Mod Podge is, it's kind of like a glue. Um, well, it is. It's like a glue. And some people say you can water it down if you need to. I've never needed to. I don't know why you would. But um, it was a big crafting thing back in the day and it's back I mean it never really left but the the crafts that went with it kind of went by the wayside a bit but now it's back and we are using the hound out of it and I've had mine um I've had mine for a while and it hasn't dried out Marilyn yes his nap time yes and we both take naps and I already had my nap but, um, oh, I was going to tell y'all, too. Yesterday, I had to take some things to the mailbox, to the post office. And we ended up going to this tiny little town nearby. And I'm in the post office. And I tend to ask locals all the questions. So I asked the lady at the post office, where can you eat around here? And you know what she said? Angles. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ingles. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you can eat at Ingles. And I'm like, but I mean, I don't mean like, where can I buy food? I mean like, finished food. Already fixed. She said, oh, yes, yes, Ingles. You can, <laughs> you can eat in Ingles. And I'm thinking, you know, are you going to eat on it while you're standing in line at the register to pay for it? I don't, I don't know. But apparently, well, they do because I went in there. They have like a restaurant type thing. You know, it's like a, I don't know what you call it, but they had a big salad bar thing where you get your salad and then they had um, behind the counter where the lady would get it out of the hot thing, right? Well, I looked at the salad and, you know, people have been enjoying the salad, right? Because the tongs were laying in the food. And I'm like, excuse me, pardon me, has anybody heard of COVID? I mean, I don't know, but I'm not eating. First of all, I wouldn't have eaten out of it before COVID because you. And now we're letting this dry again. So we're going to park this over here. Put this guy over here. Now we're working on, we're working on our tassel again. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm standing there looking around trying to decide, you know, did we want to eat there? But she also told me that there was a barbecue place. And I'm thinking, oh boy. So I get back in the car with Ninja Man and I'm like, well, I took a picture. I said, this is what Ingalls looks like. And I said, but there's another place, a barbecue place. And he, he had seen it from the road when we first arrived. And he's like, well, where you want to eat? And I said, I don't think I want to eat in Ingalls right now. I mean, you know, I'm a cheap date, y'all. I would be the one. Yes, cafeteria style. That's right. Um, I would be the one to eat there and not bat an eye. Not on a first date, but I'm just saying I'm a cheap date. So, <laughs> well, I took her to Ingles for the first date and I ain't heard and hiding a hair ever since. Well, I wonder why. Um, so, yeah. So, I wouldn't mind eating there, y'all, but it was just something special about that place that I thought, not today. Mm -mm, no. 
So we go to the barbecue place. Well, it's a country place. You know, there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of traffic, even though it's right by the expressway. And our little waitress, cute as a button, y'all, she took probably 20 minutes to take the order from a table of guys. And she was just giggling and flipping her hair. And I'm like, we're never going to see her again, ever, ever. She's done with us. Well, lo and behold, I was right. <laughs> we had to flag down waitress number two, um, who was just... You know, you can tell she's kind of being apologetic while she's, like, trying not to say this happens all the time. You know, she's just kind of like, um, I can help you with that, you know. Because we needed a few things. Ninja Man had been without ketchup for a good 25 minutes. I mean, come on. He had him some french fries. He'd been without ketchup. I mean, let's let's take care of the guy, okay? So, here we go. I just, I, I don't know, y'all. I'm not a tassel maker, but I think this is kind of pretty. It will be. It will be. We're getting there. So, he um he's waiting on his ketchup. So, I told her, we need ketchup. And now, when she brought it, I was afraid she'd bring it from another table, which is what they used to do. But I don't know where it came from, but he got ketchup. And I need a way to dry this. Honey, would you grab my heat gun, please? No, it's, it's over there minding its own business. <laughs> it's over there minding its own business. I'm going to need an extension cord, too, with it. It's right there in that little box. It yeah, we go just like this, right? Uh-huh. Thank you, sweetie. I'm going to need uh, you to plug all that in. We're going to heat gun this and dry it off. Say ketchup. 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 <laughs> I, I did, did I say ketchup? Yeah, ketchup. How do you say it? Catsup. Catsup. No, you don't either. Don't you dare. No, y'all. We can. Oh, mm -mm, no. If we go to Zaxby's, that's why I don't go to Zaxby's. Number one, they, they charge twice as much. Number two, instead of saying, I want a salad, this guy says, I want a salad. No, that's no, no. He says, that's because what it says on the menu. And I'm like, no, do not call it a salad. No, this might be loud. So I'm like, no, do not call it that. And he goes, well, that's what it is. And I'm like, no, it's a salad. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're eating our lunch. And what I like to do, y'all, and the first time I lost 60 pounds, I'm only down about three right now, but we're working on it. But the first time I lost the 60 pounds, um, one of the things I would do, oh, dear. One of the things I would do is... As soon as my food came to the table, if we were eating out, can y'all hear me? I hope so. Um, if we were eating out, as soon as my food came to the table, I'd ask for a takeout box, and I'd just go ahead and split the meal. And the reason I did that was, when we went to France, like it's spelled ketchup. <laughs> no. No. Ketchup. Anyway. When we went to France, y'all, they didn't serve the portions that we get over here in Tubby, USA, right? They serve much smaller portions. And I was like, hey, there's a thought. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I usually take half my meal. Oh, you don't eat it? You don't eat ketchup? You don't like it? Some people eat it with their breakfast. No, thank you. But um, but yeah. So I take half my meal and put it in the in the thing. So guess what I had for lunch today? Reruns. That's right. I had reruns of yesterday's lunch. Okay, and so he got his ketchup. <laughs> he says ketchup. I think he's trying to do one on over on me. And, huh? Yeah. He says, yeah. So, so we had that for lunch today, and we got extra Brunswick stew because, y'all, it was some of the best. Most of Europe doesn't give big portions. Germany does. I believe it. I believe it. And France, um... Y'all, they saw us coming. Now, I was heavier than I am now. 
and they saw us coming. They knew us as Americans from the get-go. We went to this one restaurant. Now, this was back in, I don't know, probably 2012, I think. Anyway, now I'm going to take my little sander, y'all, and I'm going to go along the edges. And if y'all are watching, let me know you're here. If you hadn't commented yet, let me know you're here. Um, anyway, so we went to this one place, and I was doing all the talking. Surprise! And um, on eggs, yeah, no, I'm not eating ketchup on eggs. Nope, nope. Um, yeah, so we're, we're eating in a restaurant and we were getting ready to order and I had my little translator book and all this and I ordered us a pizza in France. We were not in Italy. We were in France, but I figured, you know, it's close to Italy. So uh, closer than America. So it must be good. Right. So the girl takes our order and she brought us two large pizzas, one for him, one for me. I'm like, what, why, what? And we're sitting there looking at them, and I can't have a conversation with her, you know, without looking it up in a book. So I'm just like, okay. And then I realized later, you know, she's, she thinks we need it. She thinks we just need to eat that much. But no. So we ended up, you know, we each had like, I think he might've had a couple of slices. I might've had one or two. And we end up taking a whole pizza and a half back to this hotel and the hotel being in the small town we were in it was called was that Chateau Le Roy? Yeah, yeah Chateau Le Roy. and being the small town we were in um the hotel did not have a microwave not not only not in the room it didn't have one period I'm like really what what are y'all putting your your um cup of noodles in what are y'all doing so <laughs> How do y'all eat your your fat American foods? So they didn't have a refrigerator for us either. So we had to put it in the trash. And I, you know, I've never been so sad to see a whole pizza go away. Pizza and a half. But we couldn't leave it in the trunk of the car. It smelled like pepperoni and it was a rented car. I know. I know y'all. So there went our pizza. And um, another thing... One of these waiters tried to put me on a diet while I was right there. And um, Hopper says, you're not reading comments. He's over there playing on his phone. Only time I've been to France, I marched in a parade in Strasbourg for the 50th anniversary of the town being liberated. Woohoo! Yay! And I'm sure you were in full dress uniform, right? That would have been awesome. Man. Man. I love that. Um... Yeah, so I'm I'm going to I'm going to punch the little hole that's here. I'm going to punch it through the front. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go this way. Yeah. I'll go that way. That way I am assured of the right spot. Right? Right. Um yeah, so this this dude decides to put me on a diet right then and there. We sit down and um my husband ordered a beer. We, we were literally right. She cared. You looked hungry. I probably did look hungry because, I mean, we did everything we could think of and walked. Oh, my gosh. We walked so much. But um, so we're sitting beside, what was the name of that cathedral? It's very famous. <laughs> He's pausing to laugh because I forgot. Notre Dame. Yes, we're, we're right there by Notre Dame. I told y'all it was famous. I told you. All I can think of is Hunchback. Um, read Hopper's comment, John. Also made it to the concentration camp at Daku and met U.S. troops that freed the camp. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. And we think we're going through something here, right, Hopper? Whew. Anyway, so we're sitting outside of um, Notre Dame. And this was just before. I think it burned like two or three years after. I'm not sure. No, it was quite a few years. Oh, he says quite a few years. So, um, yeah, we're sitting there. And I ordered a Coke. And <laughs> dude, look, 
Do look at me and say it, John. No, madame, Coke light. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? He goes, no, madame, Coke light. And he points to me, and I'm like, who died and made you president, right? So he argued with me that I could not have a Coke. I needed a Coke light, which is a Diet Coke. And I'm thinking, boy, I, I could stand up and just bump you, and you'd be up flying across that Notre Dame because he, he was skinny. He was a skinny little Frenchman. Um, this is how it started in Germany. It gets off soapbox. Oh, no. Keep telling us. Keep telling us. I love that. Love that. All right, y'all. So we have this part done, okay? And you can't really tell much right here that I had to piece it in. See? The, um, the Mod Podge takes care of that. And then I had painted the back to finish it, okay? So it looks pretty. Now we're going to put a little bit of age on it. Um, yeah, so he argues with me, right? And I'm like, dude. And my husband says, Ninja Man says, she wants a Coke. Bring her a Coke. With ice. With ice. <laughs> with ice. <laughs> because you have to ask for ice over there. They had not got the recipe. So... <laughs> Maybe Hopper can tell us why they don't do ice over there. So, all right, I'm using my ink. This is just an ink refill that would go on to, I got I got glue all over me now. It would go on a uh, uh, stampin, uh, uh, stamp pad, okay, to re-ink it. And this is stamping up. I'm just going to put some on my little towel here. I better hold it the other way. Um, yeah, so... He, can, he goes off on a, a little French huff, all right? And off he goes. He comes back with a Coke. One, y'all, one piece of ice floating in the top of it. And I said, I'll tell y'all what right now. Y'all better be glad I didn't ask for sweet tea. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going on along the edge here. Just going to distress it, make it look old. We're going to get a little bit up here. And we're going to take it back off after we put it on. See? See how that kind of makes it look old? I love it. Y'all love it. Loving this. Loving it. Okay. Y'all, it, it's going to look like it's been there a couple hundred years. Um, yeah, so I had one little piece of ice. And he kind of goes <laughs> like that. All right, John P., read it. See, y'all, I'm having to tell him to read it. because There were German citizens outside the camp saying it was prof all propaganda and never happened. What? Not true. Oh, my goodness. For real? Why in the world would they still... Ah, uh, oh, mm-mm. Are they... they brainwashed for all... Brainwashed, persecution, whatever. Wow. Wow, y'all. I had no idea that was the case. If you ask for ice in Germany, you will get a drink with a scoop of ice cream. <gasps> Ooh, book us a couple of flights to Germany, John. Okay. <laughs> I want ice cream. Oh, y'all, Ninja Man makes this. Oh, y'all, it is so good. Okay. Tell him that. Come roll over here. Roll over here and tell him how you make it. What am I making? You're making that ice thing with ice cream. The ice thing with ice cream. Y'all got to hear this. Hang on. Hang on. Here he comes. He was at the other desk. We have three desks in here, y'all. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. They can't see you. They okay. can hear you. All right. Um, you take the, just, uh, I, we have a electric um, snow cone machine. And you take it and you make half the glass of ice. Uh, shaved ice, then you put a, a little flavoring over it, then you put a scoop of ice cream in it, then you put the rest of the snow cone on top of it and flavor that. And the flavoring he's talking about is like that Weiler's, like like I use the sugar-free, but like if you use Weiler's cherry or whatever, right? Weiler's? Yeah. Um, that's the kind of flavoring he uses, y'all. And I'm telling you what, you just... But when you mix up the Weilers, you can't, you know, it's like for a 16-ounce drink. Yeah. But you have to use like 8 ounces because the ice will dilute it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, 
Trish says, take me. Marilyn says, unfortunately, they're ignorant of the truth they are. Oh, cricket can come. Yes, yes. And then Lisa says, yum. Okay, yeah. So everybody needs, um, well, goodness, you've got to have a, a icy machine, right? Um, the shaved ice thing came from, we got it way back when I was, um, what's that word, John? Um, Employed. <laughs> I can see he's going to be a favorite on the Kathy Bowes crafting show. <laughs> employed. Yeah, I actually, I probably was employed. Um, no, it's when your hemoglobin goes out of whack. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Um, come on. You were, uh... Um... Debbie, what's that word? Hemoglobin is down to a two. Um, uh, it's coming. Anemic, anemic. I found it. Oh, hey, Karen. Hey, hey. This is what we're making, girlfriend. We're close to finishing. And, Karen, we still need to talk. We still need to talk. Because I got cards to send out I need to talk to you about. Um, but, yeah. So, I was anemic, y'all. And I won't go into all the details, but the fact is, it it was not it was not good. Um, my hemoglobin was a two, should have been like an eleven. And um, and the doctor, I had to go to an oncologist, but it wasn't cancer; it was just you know girl stuff. But um, the doctor looked at Ninja Man and he goes, "How is she up walking?" And I mean, I'm like, "Thank you, Doc," because I feel like crapola. All right, so anyway, I was craving, y'all, I was craving ice like the Dickens, okay? And by the way, y'all see, I'm just using like a couple of drops to get this. I'm just using a couple of drops, but I have to keep, I have to keep refreshing it. Um, I was craving crushed ice. Like I had to put it in a cooler in Ziploc bags and carry it to work. And then I had to have it in the middle of, in the bed so I could have it. Not in the bed, <laughs> by the bed, so I could have it in the night, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to make the top of it look a little old. See how that looks? That Y'all, in this, oh, y'all, I've been wanting to make this so bad. So, um, yeah, so I was like trying to figure out how to get all the crushed ice in the world, and Ninja Man bought me that. And sometimes the doctor said, when you're anemic, you might crave crushed ice like 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 it's going crazy and I said oh, that's me that's me yeah cricket too that's right um Marilyn says you can tell he's been around you <laughs> yeah and um and I did and I said I'm, that's what I'm craving and you know what he said some people crave cornstarch now some of y'all in the medical field might know that but I was like I'm so glad that wasn't me if I had to crave something let's make it be ice but yeah so um so I was having to, to eat it, but if if I didn't have it in my mouth, I was thinking about it. It was 24-7. So anyway, they fixed me, you know, <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay, so we've got this cross done. Do y'all have any questions about how I did it? Um, I'll go over it real quick. I, I painted it, well, I sanded it first with this little guy, just a piece off of this big one, okay? Going over it real quick and painted it with the... Um, French linen chalk from um, Hobby Lobby, okay? And they're doing away with their 40% coupon. Y'all look online and see when it is. Painted that. Then I took uh, took a page out of my book, um, took a piece of music out of this old Methodist hymnal that I always use for crafting. And y'all, I love some old books. And... That's the first one I've ever kind of torn up a little bit. Thank you, Lisa. Um, Hopper, I love the dark edges. Thank you. Doesn't it look old? It looks like you found it like in Grandma's basement or something. Anyway, and then, okay, then I had cut that paper out. I put Mod Podge down, laid my paper down, and it was a little short, so I had to piece it right here, but you can't tell. You can't tell, y'all. And then uh, y'all saw me stressing it with this ink, okay? All right, meanwhile, I made a tassel, which is, it's missing in action. Here it is. I made this little tassel, okay? And here we go. Somebody just sent me a text, y'all. And by the way, y'all, 
uh, today's Thursday, Tuesday was the biggest Stampin' Up! day I've had in a while. Several people ordered, and I was like, ah, oh, thank you. But this is Kathy Bo's Crafting Show. I might use some Stampin' Up! stuff, and I might not. You never know. For the moment, this is on wire, okay? And I'll show you these beads come just like this. I got them from Amazon, and... That this particular group of beads came in like a bunch of different sizes, which is what I needed, but I need a whole lot more like this. So I put them on wire for Ninja Man to spray paint. And um, I showed that earlier. I'll show you again real quick. This is the spray paint, and that's where he painted the beads and the tray, all right? And okay, so while it's on the wire, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and just put it as if I'm going to use the wire. But after I'm done, I'm going to, um, I'm going to change this and thread it with either this or this. Okay. I'm not sure yet. So, um, when I go to auction it off, if you decide you want it, it won't be on wire. It's going to be like on string because the wire is red. Okay. Um, and we, we want it to kind of hang kind of neat, right? So it'll be on a string. And here we go. And like I said, if nobody if nobody buys it, that's fine. Um, don't feel like you need to. But I'll just auction it off at another time, another date. And I will be attaching the little, this little guy. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to be changing it. So I'm just going to tuck it under here for now, Okay just to give you the idea of how it's going to look. Okay. Oh, come on. I'll just lay it up under there. Okay. And then, and then, and then, y'all, we're going to knock this out. Are you reading my comments for me? They're coming in. We got this. They ended up giving me two pints of whole blood, more common for craving ice because of the iron deficiency. Ah. Uh. It could be used as a true topper. Okay, guys, there it is, okay? And um, I will be connecting the this to the string, and it comes with the tray, the cross, and the string. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything that goes on it, with it, at it, whatever. I think that's everything, y'all. Yes, so this would be what you would be, um, you'll be bidding on. Okay, now here's how we're going to do the bidding. And this is every Thursday, whatever I make, if you want it, we're going to add $5 for shipping. So that's not included in the bid price. We started at $5. Ninja Man, start your timer when I tell you. We're going to set a timer for a minute and 30 seconds. And there's a 10 second delay. So when I say go, all I want you to do is bid for a minute and 30. Um, we're going to start the bidding at $5 plus the $5 for shipping. So you'd actually be paying $10. Um... So when we start the bidding, just bid. Just put and don't put the dollar mark. Just put the amount, okay? And at 1 minute and 30 seconds, wait, don't don't tell it go yet. At 1 minute and 30 seconds we'll stop the bidding and then 10 seconds later I'll finish reading the comments because there's a 10 second delay. So Ninja Man, set your thing for a minute 40 and at a minute 30, let me know. We had a cowbell I was going to ring, but I don't have it now. Okay. Okay, get ready. You ready, Ninja Man? Yeah. All right, bidding starts now at $5. Do I have $5? Anybody $5? $5, $5. Look how pretty this is for $5. Y'all can put a little piece of, um, little fabric, or you can put a doily or something like that up under here, and it'd be so pretty. Ow. Five dollars. I'm gonna need about six dollars because now I gotta go to the doctor because I just hot glued my hand. All right, five dollars. Anybody? Five dollars. And if it does not, if it does not sell today, that's okay. What we're gonna do is um is bring it back up later, okay? When we have a finished something. And five dollars, how much time we got? Fifty seven seconds. Fifty seven seconds, and I'm gonna get something to show y'all in real life. $5. Anybody got six? Anybody for six? Anybody for six? All right, here we go. I'm going to show you this. 
anybody for six. This is something I might be auctioning off later. Um, I don't know. It's a spring decoration. Maryland. Yeah, okay, Marilyn wants it for six. Right now, Marilyn's got it at six. Anybody, anybody want it for ten? Come on, ten dollars. Come on, and you'll uh, pay an extra five dollars for shipping, and I will, um, I will send you a PayPal invoice, and you don't even have to use PayPal to pay it. You just send the money. So that's six dollars. Six dollars. This. Your time is up. Oh, your time's up. Okay, and we don't have to keep going. Let's see. Ten more seconds, Ninja Man. One, 10 seconds is up. All right, 10 seconds is up. So Marilyn gets it for $6. Thank you. So I will send you an invoice for 11. That's six plus five. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to finish stringing this. Um, I'll finish stringing this little guy before I send. Uh-oh, please hold. Wait, don't go. Don't go. Hold on. I screwed up. There we go. I will send you an invoice and I'll finish stringing it. And... We will be live next Thursday with another fun project. And um, thank you so much, Marilyn. I hope you enjoy it. I do love it. I do. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I, I'm going to have to make me one, y'all. I am. So thank y'all so much. God bless. I appreciate you being here. Don't miss next Thursday. And please tell your friends. And um, goodness. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday night, I'll be live with um, Kathy Bohan and Creatively Blessed. Same channel, same channel, just a different thing. We're doing Stampin' Up! over there. Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then I'll be back here on Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. All right? Thanks, y'all, and God bless. Toodles!